What is in it? The active ingredient um, doesn't really have a great name. It's mm -hmm. called a cooling fluid. And there are a few challenges that, that you get when you want to set makeup for an extended period of time. One is how do you time release a product to work for hours and hours and hours that's just as effective at the end of the day as it is at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you can, we can show that in a moment, of course. Um, and then the second is how do you make sure the product is breathable? Mm -hmm. Scandinavia did not invent the makeup setting spray. Makeup setting sprays have been around on, on, um, uh, in studios and, and for regular use since the 1970s. The challenge was is they were a hairspray for the face. They were like shellac. So the issue was is you'd, you'd, you'd spray on kind of this almost plasticizer mm. and you'd get kind of a nice sheen. But one, it wouldn't last long and two, it wasn't breathable. And it's very, very important, although this is a mist, to just allow the skin to breathe. Okay. Yeah. So, so Catherine, what's it, what's not in this? Because our ladies at <coughs> home are going to want to know about yes, the nasties. And I'm, I'm really glad you're asking this because I think that is just as important as what is in the product. And what is not in the product is parabens and no petrochemicals and the fragrances are kept at a minimum. So it's a very, very light scent of cucumber, Correct, yeah. very refreshing, but so there's just almost no way any skin could actually have a reaction to this product. It's, um, it's been tested um, on eyes, on the skin obviously, it's been tested even on clothing, yeah. which I think is just fabulous because and you just think of the events you go to with a beautiful dress and you spray this on last minute and wow you've got some staining but it's That's certified not going to happen. In, in America as hypoallergenic. It is hypoallergenic, yes. Yeah. What's, what's interesting in how it works is the product almost sort of has a, a brain of its own. If it's 40 or 45 degrees out, it will cool it down to, you know, the makeup surface down to 30, 25, 22. But if it's 20 degrees out, or 18 degrees out, it moves much more slowly. So it's almost just sort of bringing it down. It's the kind of a room. It, it's it's a thinking product, and I'll show you how it works. And if you can see the graphic right here, it's it's quite simple. This is actually how you get a product to last all day long. This is a close up, and it is two million times magnified of the actual makeup finishing spray that's on the show, of course. And if you look at all these little circles right here. <laughs> These are all um, little tiny spheres. They're barely wider than a ray of light. And we load them with this specialized cooling fluid. Mm -hmm. And what the cooling fluid does is it it's, it's works through evaporative cooling to as soon as these spheres release their payload, cooling fluid dropped off, and it literally just evaporates right away, which is pulling heat directly away from the makeup surface. The challenge is... How do you get a product like this to last for 16 hours, or up to 16 hours, or the entire day, or from when you wake up to when you go to bed? The idea is, is that this sphere might go off two minutes from now. This one might go off 10 minutes from now. This one might go off five hours from now. This one might go off eight hours from now. And there are literally, in each spray, there are millions of these little tiny spheres that come out. And that's how it works. Now, typically, Amazing. if you have a 40 or 45 degree day, they go off a little faster. Yeah. And if you have a 15 degree day, they go off a little slower. And that's how the product works. And that's how you time release it. But also a key is on the graphic, the breathability. You can see the spheres have room in between them. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows your skin to breathe. So if you're someone that's combination, oily skin, regular skin type, you're not insulating the skin at all. And that's critical. It's also critical to know that this is a product that is sitting on the makeup surface. So it's working with your makeup more than your skin. So you feel refreshed, but you don't really feel anything. It's not like when you walk into a room, you feel cool. Yeah. It's just sort of there, and it's just working while you don't have to think about it.